The head of the Scottish Deerhound should be long, with the skull flat rather than round. There is a very slight rise over the eyes, but nothing approaching a stop. The nose should be slightly aquiline. Seen from the front, the head is broadest at the ears and narrows slightly to the eyes. The muzzle tapers more decidedly to the nose, which is black. In deerhounds with blue fawn coats, the nose may be blue. The muzzle should be pointed, but the teeth and lips level. The hair on the head should be moderately long and softer than the rest of the coat. In lighter colored dogs, the black muzzle is preferable. There should be a good mustache of rather silky hair and a fair beard. Eyes should be dark, generally dark brown, brown, or hazel. Very light eyes are not liked. The eye should be moderately full with a soft look when a deer hound is in repose. But a keen, far away look when roused. The rims of the eyelids should be black. These eyes are less than ideal. They are set too close together and lack dark rims. Here again are the correct eyes for the Scottish Deerhound. Dark, moderately full, and possessing black eye rims. Ears should be set on high and are black or dark colored regardless of coat color. In repose, they are folded back like a greyhound's. When excited, they are raised above the head without losing the fold, and even in some cases semi-erect. The smaller the ear, the better. Perk ears are bad. Big, thick ears hanging flat to the head or heavily coated with long hair are bad faults. There should be no long coat or long fringe, but there is sometimes a silky, silvery coat on the body of the ear and the tip. The ears should be soft, glossy like a mouse's coat to the touch.